Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing well. Today, I am going to see if you can tell me these names. So you have to say the names really loud when you see them. Let's try that name. What name is that? Okay, and how about this name? Who is that? And then we'll try this one. What name is that? Say it really loud so I could hear it. And then we have this name. Ooh, S T E R L I N G. Who could that be? And the last one we have J. A M E S. Who is has a name that starts with the letter J? J J J. So today, let's see who has the next birthday coming up. Oh, that would be Cleo. Cleo's. No, 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 no. That's Grandpa. Grandpa's is the next birthday. So. Let's see, when you see Grandpa on uh, nine, about ten days from now, I want you to say happy, H-A-P-P-Y, say happy birthday, B-I-R-T-H-D-A-Y. That's a huge word. I want you to say happy birthday to Grandpa when you see him on his birthday which is February the 9th. So, yes, Grandpa is having a birthday really, really soon. And, no. Huh, let's get the word no out here. No, it is not going to be Grandma's birthday for quite a while. Okay, well at night time, I go up the stairs, you be up the stairs to go to bed. So does Sterling. But Winnie goes down stairs to go to bed. D-O-W-N, down. All right. So, let's see. Uh, what can I say about me? I can say this is me. Me. Emmy. Oh, and I love L-O-V-E is love, Y-O-U, I love you. Uh, I am, I am, I am, I am, let's see, I am not, I am not, N-O-T, I am not Let me find another word for there. I am not the I am not the I am not the Oh, I am not the dog. I am not the dog. Uh, let's see. Dad, D A D, Dad and A N D, Dad and Mom, M O M, Dad and Mom. R A R E, 
Lots of fun. Lots of fun. She... She was... And he is, she was, and he is it. Uh, da, 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 da. This will, W-I-L-L, -L, this will be a fun story. And when, hmm. And we were going to hear a different story, but I decided to try this other one. That looked a little funny. So today's story, today's story, S-T-O-I-Y, today's story is about, A-B-O-U-T, today's story is about a bear and a weasel. This is the bear. This is the weasel. And today's story is about sharing. Hmm, like when you have to share with your brother or your sister. Hmm, sharing is not always easy to do. So the name of this book is Two for Me, One for You. We have the words me and the words you here that you know how to read. All right. Uh, let's turn to the first page. So, here we have... Here we have a bear walking in the woods. And looks what he sees growing in the woods. He sees mushrooms. How many mushrooms are there? Let's count them. One, two, three. He sees three mushrooms. So, oh, and this is a female bear. So, on her way home, bear found three mushrooms. Now, look who we have here, a little mouse reading a book. Hmm. A bear doesn't seem to be paying any attention to the mouse. Bear is very interested in the mushrooms. So, here we have Weasel. And it looks like Weasel likes to cook. And look, Weasel has those three mushrooms in the pan. Okay. Oh, and Weasel is a boy or a man or a male. Because it says, Weasel was very excited. He wiped the mushrooms, seared them, seasoned them with plenty of salt and pepper, and let them simmer in the frying pan with a little parsley. Mm -hmm. So Bear is sitting here waiting for the mushrooms while the weasel is cooking them here in the kitchen. Okay, now Bear says, Bear dished up one mushroom for you and one mushroom for me, she said, and another mushroom for me. That's fair. I'm big, so I need to eat a lot. Hmm. Well, she is a lot bigger than the weasel. But what do you think the weasel's going to say to that? Let's turn the page and find out. Oh, what is the weasel doing? He's reaching over and taking one of the mushrooms. Hmm, what does the weasel say? Weasel did not agree. One mushroom for me, one mushroom for you, and another one for me. That's fair. I'm small and I still have to grow. So, here we have, look who's walking over here. 
I'm not sure what that kind of animal that is. We'll find out in a minute. But there, these two are discussing how to share three mushrooms. One for you, two for me. That is fair because I found the mushrooms. That's what the bear says. The weasel says, that's not at all fair at all. You brought them home to me. I did all the work. I wiped the mushrooms. I seared them. I seasoned them. I simmered them in a very heavy pan with parsley. And then the bear says, but you used my recipe, and I set the table. And anyway, I like mushrooms much more than you do, said the bear. Ooh, now they look like they're getting angry. Mm, here's this little animal I'm still here. Mushrooms are my absolute all-time number one food. And I am so hungry, you can hear my stomach grumbling. What the weasel said. Wait, I am much bigger than you, so my hunger is bigger. My stomach's been grumbling so long, it's gone croaky. And the bear. But I said, fir I said first that my stomach was grumbling. He's getting pretty angry. Bear says, but I said I wanted the extra mushroom first. One mushroom less won't hurt you. Too many mushrooms are good for a little weasel or for fat bears. Okay, that does it. Two for me, one for you, and that's it. In that case, you're not my friend anymore. Okay. He's taking two. Wait a minute. Remember that animal we saw crawling around? Look at it. I see a hand reaching out. Hmm. What's going to happen? Hey! Oh, look at that. He took the extra mushroom. Bear and Weasel were stunned. The cheek of it, they shouted. Totally unfair. Can you believe it? He just swiped our mushroom. While they were fighting, he reached his hand and he took that mushroom. But then they wished each other bon appetit. The mushrooms tasted wonderful. So they each had one mushroom to eat. And they weren't fighting anymore. So, what happens next? Oh, there was even dessert. Wild strawberries, cried the bear, delighted. My absolute all-time number one food. And Weasel dished them up. Uh-oh, how many strawberries do we have? One, two, three. And who's going to eat the strawberries? The bear and the weasel. That's two of them. So who gets two and who gets one? Mm -hmm. Nope. We don't know. But I bet, bet they're going to fight over that. What would you guys do if you had three of something and there was two of you eating? Mm -hmm. I think you could have taken the third mushroom or the third strawberry and cut it in half. What do you think? That might work. Or maybe one of them could have the three mushrooms, have two mushrooms, and the other one could have the two strawberries. I don't know. You'd have to work that out with your friend or your brother or sister. But anyway, that is our story for today, and I love all of you, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.